This poor tomato plant has been trying to make a tomato for five months. It's simultaneously been trying to die for five months. So it's uh, not made it very far, but it tried. Bless it, it tried. But on the last passage, the stem broke. So its journey is over. This was a store-bought tomato that I didn't intend to get anything from. It just started to sprout, so I thought I'd let it live its little tomato plant life. And then uh, it gave us little uh, fruits. So I'm going to have to honor them the Southern way. Thank you for your efforts, little tomato. Thanks for tuning in. For those who are just joining us, we're a pretty average couple who decided to make travel and adventure a way of life. A couple of years ago, we took the next step and made a boat our home so we could bring our creatures and comforts along for the ride. Together we sail the seas, trek the globe, or even just take a drive, as long as it's somewhere new. We spent nearly a week in Charleston, but it was mostly for Bryant to get through his work week, so we spent a lot of time chilling on the boat, recovering and organizing again from the long overnights. We made it to shore a couple of times, mainly just motoring up Shem Creek to grab some dinner after Bryant got off of work. We saw enough of Charleston to know that it's a beautiful city with a lot of rich history, but we basically went grocery shopping, ran some errands, but that's about it. Hi friends, um, editing Erica here. You may notice that this video and the last video, there have been a lot more photographs inserted into the videos. You may also notice that the video that is there, uh, most of it is kind of, um, how do I say, warped. Um, these two things are not unrelated. The phone that I had previously just kept getting worse and worse and worse for video and it just wouldn't keep a focus and it wouldn't it would just do these like micro zooms i don't know it was very very weird um a lot of the footage became just unwatchable so i've had to cut a lot of it and um i know you're probably thinking well why didn't bryant take videos because i don't do that <laughs> with his phone um yeah that's a good question i have a new phone now the videos are so much better on my new phone so in the future this is not going to be an issue so please just bear with me as i get through um these next few weeks in the timeline of our adventure with my old phone and i'm going to put in some photos hopefully you'll enjoy the photos um if not then i don't know what to tell you i'm sorry By this point, we were all pretty impatient to get south and find the warmer weather. So we jumped on yet another overnight, with my trusty co-pilot, skipped over Georgia nearly entirely, and pulled in at...
Cumberland Island, which is a beautiful historic island designated a protected national seashore and known for its wild armadillos, which are super duper cute. It's wild horses, which are now our best friends. And of course, the ruins of the 59 room Carnegie Mansion that was built in the late 1800s and then burned down in 1959 after having been abandoned for 30 years. This mansion was built on the ruins of another mansion built much earlier, and there are also the ruins of about 40 other structures scattered around the island. There are these guys. There are these guys who are the gatekeepers to the underworld, I guess. And the aforementioned shore, which is beautiful and massive and great for shell hunting. Pretty colors has yeah. a crab in him. He's got to go back. He's got a home. Okay. What else you got? This one also Ooh. with pretty colors. Primarily beautiful. Intact. No crab. Love it. A vertebrae nice. of a fish. Favorite. And then I kept finding a bunch of these, and I was wondering what kind of little sea creature this was. And then I found this one that has the bottom half, some kind Whoa. of arthropod. And then this tiny little guy. Also crab free. This tiny little guy here that's gonna need a little bit of cleaning up as well. Good finds. Good finds. You wanna come back with us? So yeah, Cumberland Island. Ten out of ten. <laughs> like all cleavage. <laughs> So it's Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We have decided that it is time and uh, a, an appropriate occasion to open our long-kept bottle of port from 2009. Um, Rodney Strong Vineyards. Rodney Strong Vineyards. Sonoma, California. Shout out. As we wanted something kind of festive. But, you know, you hold on to something like this and you never think that you're going to actually have an occasion to open it up. But we're like, it's Christmas. We are finally realizing a dream that we've had, and we're just now coming, we're just now realizing this, like, today, <laughs> right now, that we're sitting here within eye shot of Florida, um, on our boat, cooking a Christmas dinner of spaghetti, but this is it, like... Yeah, we're doing the thing, we're we, finally back to being did it. us, and, like, doing this, and, I mean, when she talks about something that's been long coming, like, we talked about this when we were dating... And now we're doing it. Yeah. And it just goes to show sometimes, like, your goals are so big. They feel so big that you never actually realize when you reach them. And we've actually reached it. Like, this yeah. is this is a goal <laughs> that we jam. have done. Like, it's a, it's a check off the list. And so, yeah, I think we deserve a little bit of special wine. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Yee, that's a respectable amount of port. Gotta let it breathe on the way down. It's very considerate. As beautiful as Cumberland Island is, there are no grocery stores or services of any kind, so we couldn't stay forever. We motored up the river a little ways to the town of St. Mary's to hang out and wait for some packages. We enjoyed a good karaoke night and some beautiful sunsets, but didn't stay too long. Well, it wouldn't be a trip without biking a heavy-ass battery, miles and miles. It's the opposite battery this time, different engine. That's that. better. The next stop on our tour of the Florida-Georgia border was Fernadina Beach, which meant that we were officially in Florida, which seemed like a hell of a milestone. We rolled in on New Year's Day, which was a beautiful 70 degrees. 
And while we were there, we really enjoyed the little town. They had some cute art installations, good food, a really amazing brewery. There's some great beaches in the area that supposedly you can find shark's teeth on. Supposedly. But if I'm being completely honest, it smelled a little. The mooring was absolutely hellacious because of really strong tidal currents that conflicted heavily with the really strong winds that were blowing through, which caused us to feel like we were literally moored inside a washing machine. Honestly, I don't think that we'll be back. All good? But New Year's really was pretty amazing. rationing this at all. I love the sparkly ones. currents, howling wind, none of them going in the same direction or agreeing on anything in general. So we got tangled up on the mooring ball. It was slamming from one hull to the other, sliding underneath, making a huge racket. We could not get the dinghy in any kind of position where it wouldn't slam into the back of the boat. So we had to raise it, we had to take the engine off and raise it like every single night. Not a single night sleep was had that was of any kind of good quality. Um, yeah. And it was supposed to be sunny. We had a cold front that came through and it was supposed to get progressively warmer and nicer um, every day after that. We just, So we were leaving today trying to uh, get down to Daytona and uh, we thought that it was going to be nice and pleasant but then we wake up and it's more of the same it's so cloudy and it's current is raging and the waves are slapping and it's just oh it's so stressful and we had to pull up to the fuel dock and we had to get off the dock and with so much current and so much wind coming at you from every direction like that's it's no small task my friends of course Brian did it all and he did an amazing job as usual now we are fully under sail for the first time this trip we actually have a decent amount of wind going in the right direction and I am getting snug and cozy. Uh, I'm going to try and take a little bit of a nap so that I can not be worthless for the overnight. And yeah, thoughts the update. Testing sound quality, testing the sound 
quality like a professional.